So this is um, an interview with the MOA person. Um, MOA's been training with us at Sutai for the last two weeks and just completed her first professional fight here with us in, um, in Phuket. Um, MOA, we'd really like to hear from um, what inspired you to um, take up Muay Thai in the first place. I mean, basically I just wanted to try something differently. I was training before a lot, but I wanted to do something yeah, that developed me differently. So I, and I was thinking of trying Muay Thai for a long time, so I just decided to, to give it a try and try one session. And uh, I basically really loved it from, from the start of course. From the so, beginning. Yeah. Brilliant. And what about um, gym is that you train at in Sweden? The uh, gym I'm training at in Sweden is called Slagkampat. Okay. So the meaning in Swedish is basically like battleship. Uh, so yeah, that's located normally in Sweden. Yeah, and it was, um, was it daunting for you at the first, um, at the beginning to take the first step into a Muay Thai gym as a, as a girl? Yeah, I mean, of course, I didn't really know what, what to expect, but uh, I mean, from the starting point, I found it so much fun and I, I really enjoyed it from the beginning, so yeah, all my hesitation kind of disappeared straight away, I was thinking. Okay, great. And then um, you've had now, how many amateur fights is it that you'd had? I had um, before have, you came? Um, eight amateur fights in Sweden and now, now one here in Thailand. Well, Brilliant. Fights. Your first first win, professional win. Yeah. Um, and in terms of your first fight, was that um, like scary going in the ring? I can't imagine um, you know, what that first fight must have been like for you. Yeah, of course, the first fight was a little bit scary because you did not know at all what to expect, basically. Yeah. Uh, but I think that's also one thing I really enjoy about this sport, that you really force yourself to develop mentally. And I, I really feel like for each fight I'm, I'm doing, I'm, I'm strengthening myself mentally and you learn how to prepare and you can learn how to handle your fears and nervousness and everything like that. And, and that's something that really also triggers me to continue with this. Yeah, you definitely seem so focused. Um, I saw you have your first professional fight this week and yeah. I've never seen anyone with so much stamina. Um, like you just kept going round after round, like you didn't seem like you felt tired at all. What was that first um, professional fight like this week? It was really, really fun. It was a really fun experience. It was, I mean, I was not actually really nervous uh, before at all, but it was once again, I didn't really know what to expect since here it's of course, no protection. And mm. In Sweden, we, we do have like leg protection and a small yeah. clean helmet, helmets. So it's a little bit different, but yeah. it was so much fun in the ring, and I really, really enjoyed it. Yeah. And uh, I was like saying to myself before the fight that I'm, I'm going to do this, and I'm going to have a lot of fun in the ring, and that's the most important. Thing. Yeah, definitely. Um, well, you definitely gave it your all. It's of course a bonus thing, but uh, I think the most important part is that you you really enjoy what you're doing. Yeah, brilliant. And in terms of like, what does your average training day look like? I mean, I've been seeing you here like, uh, uh, you know, daily, every day you train here. But what does your training day look like when you're at home in Sweden? Yeah, I mean, of course, here it's a little bit more intense since I come in Sweden. Sweden, I'm working full time, sometimes mm. more than full time. But uh, normally I do around approximately 10 to 12 still training sessions per week wow. in Sweden. Yeah. So in the Muay Thai session around 6 or 7, uh, running around maybe 4 to 5 times per week, and wow. then one time uh, waist lifting. Ah, okay, you lift as well for the strength. Mm. Okay. So it can vary a bit, I'm trying to kind of uh, have different period when I'm focusing maybe more on Muay Thai, more on uh, strength, but approximately that, that's yeah. how it like. Well, it's a real commitment. Yeah, yeah, sure. yeah, huge commitment. And do you have any kind of like special diet while you're training? Not really any special diet, but I'm trying in general to eat like clean food. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, good fats and uh, good carbs, like some of brown rice, canola, a lot of fruits and vegetables, and uh, yeah, high amount of protein as well. Uh, but I mean, in general, no strict diet, but I'm thinking of course about what I'm eating and yeah. about. Trying to eat, eat good stuff, yeah. fuel up. Mm -hmm. um, brilliant. And in terms of, um, if you had anyone advice for anyone who was um, uh, considering um, uh, maybe taking that first step into Muay Thai, what would your sort of one piece of advice be? 
I think it would be to really to really believe in yourself and uh, and to never give up even if you even if you're struggling on your way because you will always you always have struggled even I mean in Muay Thai and in basically any sport but yeah. to really believe in yourself and uh, the most important thing is to have passion and commitment mm -hmm. I think once you have that everything is possible basically. everything else yeah and in terms of your experience here in Thailand, um, how would you sort of experience, um, rate your experience here, like training with us in Phuket? I mean, the training here is great and I really enjoy it. It's so, such a good quality, all the trainers and uh, you really feel that everyone is dedicated and, uh, and, the, and the possibility of arranging a fight here so quickly. I'm, I'm really amazed about how everything is structured here and I'm yeah, really glad that I took this opportunity to oh. come and train here. Well, thank you so much for your time, Mo. It's been really interesting um, hearing a little bit more about your experience and uh, I can't wait to see you again soon. Thank you. Thank Bye. You.